Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is a quick look at the 1987 Cobra Jetpack. G.I. Joe had its own jetpack, of course, in 1982. It was much smaller and more realistic than this, modeled after real-world jetpacks. This is not modeled after a real-world jetpack. This is modeled after a brick. It is the color of a brick. It is the shape of a brick. It tries to answer that age-old question, if you put a jet engine on a brick, would it fly. The Cobra Jetpack replaces the previous small Cobra one-man flying vehicle, the Claw, from 1984. In comparison, the Cobra Claw is exquisitely designed. You could imagine this really flying. The Cobra Jetpack is a brick. Let's look at the features of the Cobra Jetpack. It had two gray missiles that pegged onto these tiny little wings. It has a peg for an action figure. This four-barrel gun on top kind of moves up and down and that's pretty much it. To demonstrate putting a figure on the Cobra Jetpack, let's use Crystal Ball, since this is the character that was on the box art. And of course, Crystal Ball is qualified to drive an air vehicle. He doesn't have a lot else going for him, so yeah, let's give him the Cobra Jetpack. The back peg on the underside of the jetpack goes in the hole in the back of the action figure. That's simple enough. It's not super secure, but it'll hold him on reasonably well. Then there are these control sticks on this gray control panel. They are too big to fit in the action figure's hands, but you can place the figure's hands on them. Don't force that. That will break the figure's thumbs if you try to actually force them into the figure's hands. There you have the Cobra Jetpack with the most logical pilot, Crystal Ball. That's because if you fly this thing, you will want to consult a Crystal Ball to find out if you will survive. Wow, I was actually able to get Crystal Ball to stand up with this thing on his back. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. One obvious problem with the Cobra Jetpack is severe spinal damage. This is a Cobra vehicle, so that makes sense. This must have been designed by Dr. Mindbender. He is just crazy enough to invent something like this. That was a quick look at the 1987 Cobra Jetpack. I hope you enjoyed it. I do full vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews on this channel, and I have a huge back catalog. Please subscribe and check those out. You can find me on social media, on Facebook and Twitter, and I have a website, hcc788.com. Support on Patreon helps me continue making these videos, so if you'd like to help out, that's a great way to do it, you could get your name in a video. I'll be back soon with more vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews, and until then, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.